I'm going to set the record straight about seaboard transport. I worked for seaboard transport for two weeks. You know, really a week because it's like I did one week of orientation. Um, the reason why I left there was all about myself and what I demand in my in my life. Let me also set the record straight is that they paid me very well for those two weeks. And I even got a, a bonus check after I'd left for a referral. And um, so I didn't think I was going to get that referral. I had a, probably a lot more lined up if I would have stayed. Um, but I was like, that was the last thing that I thought that I was going to get from Seaboard was a bonus referral after I left. But they still got it. You know, they, or they still, you know, sent one out to me. And, and it was a nice, healthy check, too. A thousand dollars. And, um, a thousand dollars for a referral. So, let me just say this also. Is that when they sit there and tell you that they're going to pay you for sitting, a lot of companies may pay you five dollars an hour you know for up to five hours I don't know it's some ridiculous low thing you know but I didn't drive that many miles with them but I waited a lot and I got paid well for sitting around waiting pretty much and that's the deal um, uh, so that that's just it now of course the reason why I left was not because of the money. The money where I'm at, I'm doing now, and what I was doing before I got there, was pretty good. And the home time was is superb. Um, I think if I would have stuck it out, I probably would have been a lot more happier there than what I am here, for um, from for different reasons. I value the social side of life. I like to live, and living to me is not in a truck. To, you know, you're, you're at work when you're in the truck. Okay? And I like to have fun. I'm sorry, but I like to have fun. And being in a truck is not fun to me, it's work. So. Uh, I like to say, you know what, as little time in a truck as possible, I like to live, you know, go fishing, spend time with family, do whatever. And with what I do now, it allows me to do that the way that I prefer. You know, my kids don't go to school on Saturday and Sunday, so I don't want to work on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I still think I would have got home two days a week, uh, but just kind of abnormal type of thing and you know what it's like that normalcy is not what I like I like normalcy um, I was going to be set up on a run that went from Guymon Oklahoma to Dallas and then pick up out of um, Junction City Arkansas and which goes right by the house and then take back up to Guymon and just do that back and forth and if I you know that was going to be a gravy run and you know I could have stuck on it and if, if I wanted to I would have could things have went better I think so uh, a lot of mistakes on their end but a lot of mistakes on my end the reason why that I left the way that I did is because I missed what I was doing I missed the people that I worked for uh, and worked with missed the people or customers that we had um, that was one of the deciding factors and I made a phone call um, maybe three days before I quit um, to my old boss here where I'm working at now my current boss and um, I said hey can I come back uh, you know and he was like yeah if you come back now your truck is still waiting for you. Your truck is still there. No one's touched your truck. You can get back on the same run that you're doing. 
not losing any seniority or nothing and so putting it to me like that that's one of the reasons why I left the way that I left um, because I miss doing what I was doing you know this and I like it now I probably would have got used to that really, really you know so I'll tell you this about Seaboard Seaboard they are uh, good people up there I know I gave them a bad rap and and it's a little unfair for them because they did treat me well I, I'll, I'll tell you that uh, there's a few things that I wasn't pleased about and I was for real and upfront then about that but um, all in all I think if you were considering Seaboard um, I would give them a sh one heck of a shot because they pay very well they pay very well um, and you know you go to those meat packing plants as a third party carrier um, then you're not going to get paid to wait not like you would with there they own those those meat packing plants so you basically are employee of those plants so you get paid so much money when you're just sitting there waiting and I didn't understand that I didn't I couldn't concept that you know um, and so I think if I would have stayed money wise I would have been better and I think I would still been happy with my home time uh, so thinking back on that but the people that I ha you know are with now um, you know I've got friends here I, I do I got friends here that I consider close friends and you know the people I work with now I don't go hang out with them on the weekend because I live way out yonder I would if I lived in Dallas so I mean so so that's what I'm saying if y'all want to go and think about Seaboard and you th you've seen my videos about Seaboard uh, and it's oh maybe I shouldn't you know, well maybe you should because I did give them a bad rap and a lot of it was selfish on my part um, I'll be the first to admit it but uh, if I had it all over to do again to be totally honest I may I probably would have stayed the reason why is that the home time is just is, is as good as what I'm doing now just not as predictable not the home Saturday and Sunday you know it may be Wednesday or Thursday it may be Monday or Tuesday um, I think if I would have just kind of stuck to that plan I would have ended up well because it did pay more it was going to pay more than what I'm doing now considering the wait time considering the wait time that you spend at those places um, the you uh, I would have got paid more the benefits are way better than here I'll tell you that right now way better than here this is a major carrier that I work for this is a mega carrier and way mega carriers operate is they cut costs cut costs cut costs well you know what that was a different line of business that Seaboard is in so it's not about cutting cost um, you know cutting the driver out they I'll tell you that right now and it they did value the drivers from what and so there's a lot of people that are on my side through everything and gave Seaboard a bad rap and I think that's kind of unfair to them uh, so that's the reason why I will put this out there I've been wanting to put this out there since well really after like two three weeks after I quit and I still was receiving checks from them good checks from them too uh, that I thought that I wasn't even worth so um, so here's a thumbs up to people at Seaboard uh, I know I probably won't be able to work there again um, you know but if like I, like I said if I had everything to do over again I probably would have stayed you know it was just the circumstances of coming back here that I wasn't fully uh, you know certain about the future there at Seaboard I just didn't know and I was gone for a long time I was gone for two weeks and I was missing home and when you when you're used to being home three four nights a week you know and then you get all of a sudden you go out for two weeks it's it, you know it, it's a little bit of a shock you know and I wasn't gonna spend two weeks out on the road it was just that first opening with the orientation and everything so that's uh, this that's what that's the true story on Seaboard 
And so if you go to Seaboard, um, I think you'll be very happy with the pay, the uh, technology that they have, the runs that they have. And um, like I said, if I had everything to do over again, uh, I probably would have stayed and not been so urgent to just, just okay, you know, I was scared that I was making a mistake. So with all due respect to the people I work for, because I enjoy the people I work for. You know, a little bit of Catch-22 going on there. But, um, you know, I think uh, if the door was open again, if, you know, I would I would probably go back. But uh, I'm sure they wouldn't allow me to go back over there for, you know. So, you know, you just never know. But uh, that's the truth. That's the truth of Seaboard. And um, I haven't trashed them any after I left. Um, like I said, you know, I've got some loyal uh, friends that I have that just kind of go on off my story. And that's the reason why I wanted to get that out there. So hopefully y'all could forgive Seaboard for really not really doing anything wrong. Like, like I said, there was a couple things that, that I think they did um, wrong. But I could have got past that, I think. Um, so anyways... Hey, I'm going to talk to y'all later. So if y'all are uh, watching this at Seaboard, or if you're looking to go to Seaboard, I think they do a, a good job at what they do. Get paid well. Treat their drivers pretty darn good. I'll, I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, there was a couple of bad apples, but um, for the most part, everyone up there was really, truly good, good people, and in your face about everything. Um and you know with the truth so with that i'm long-winded on it all right i'm gonna go back to work y'all take it easy from granbury texas granbury texas that's yeah. it's texas right here man all right y'all take it easy out there in 73. why you stuck up half-witted scruffy looking nerf herder Who's scruffy looking?